Good evening. How to turn a dive tank into a mobile compressor is what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, changing the name of the channel to Christ based DIY man. I'm a born again Christian, but retired and thinking birds are flying around here, by the way. Beautiful evening. Uh, come to retirement, you've got to think, well, how do I keep my mind occupied at the moment? I'm between moving houses which is painstaking. So this is pretty thrown together at the moment, but I've been looking around in in the garages because there's three garages nailed together here <clears throat> to see what I've got to take with me. And I thought I've got to take everything. And the reason I say I've got to take everything is because when I did this tank, this um, compressor, it's not a compressor, it's compressed air that lasts forever. And I'm going to go into it and I'm going to leave nothing. We look around the shop, you know, this is, I don't know what to call this garage, if it's just been a man cave. As we look around the man cave, and we see so many things, and I just have pulled out drawers, and I just want to work on the channel. I pulled out the drawers and thought, what's in all these drawers? And I found this amazing survival kit, which I'll go into. I mean, it's a beaut. I don't even remember getting that. Um, but I was deeply into survival at one time. You know, there's garden tools and benches and containers, the young fella's carts are all both here. You know, one's a spare Rotex engine. But there's the dive tank. And as I walk into the next garage, well, if I look over there, I can see I've got a gas cylinder, which is no longer used anymore. That will be an extension. I'm not throwing it. This is all going with me, hopefully, when I move. As I say, in my diving time, I can't do it anymore, I'm too old. But in my diving time, I had a couple of tanks and I thought, how can I make them into something without, I didn't want to throw them out. Then I thought, I'm not throwing anything out from now and don't throw anything out. I've made a lot of stuff out of just stuff lying around that would cost a fortune, even in the car game, as we've been building up the tools. As you, can see, as you can see, we've got, uh, I mean, look at the stuff on the shelves you collect over the years. But I've got this dive tank here. This is a 15 litre tank, okay? 15 litre dive tank. Don't throw it out. This will last a long time. It is four pounds to fill at the local dive shop. It takes 3,500 pounds per square inch in the main tank. And you're saying, oh, well, you can't use that, but you can. The tank itself and the old regulators, I've had lots of stuff. Um, I've got regulators kept because I do intend to put a dial gauge in here. What it is, is this is 3,500 foot, uh, foot per second, pounds per square inch, okay? 3,500 pounds per square inch, which is far, far in excess for what we'd want for any kind of garage work or useful compressor. So what happens in the regulator, or we call this the octopus, there'd be many things coming off here. Your breathing regulator, this is the spare. This yellow is normally the spare for your buddy to use in case something goes wrong with us, us compulsory these days. This reduces it down to around about 113 PSI to make it work. So 3,500 in the main tank, 112, 13, 14 pounds in there, which is where you find a garbage compressor. So you need this. You can't run it off any other way. I have different devices and stuff like that. So what I've done, if I can look over here, is I've been down the local dive shop and blanked off, took the, took the pipes out. Let me show you. Cut the pipes, the existing pipes out, and up. I did try to blanket and realise the error of my ways. Removed them all, kept one, and then blanked off the rest. This return in the middle, let me get it right, is not regulated. That is still 3,500 PSI. Only the ones through the regulator can you do. And you can test it, you buy a gauge, or test your regulators on it. If your regulators are saying that, then that's it. So that's it, and it works fine. I simply clanged a an air, whatever, with an air tool on it. I've just uh, jubileed this on. And to give you an example, we turn it on. And 
Perfect. 112 PSI. Put it back on. Turn it off. And you, to a, good, a degree, can regulate the pressure, pressure and empty the airspace out of it out of courtesy. So that's don't throw it away. I think we'll have to call it don't throw it away. I haven't yet tested it to see how long it lasts for. But as I said, to me, in, in the UK, they're four pounds to fill. Okay, you have just drop them in the dive shop. I've got two of them. Um, I just simply take the regulator off the top, put it onto the new one. I've still got the seals. You uh, occasionally um, renew the seals on them. They're just cheap things. You just take them out and put them back in again. So nothing in your garage needs to go out. And I'll be doing a series on keeping your retirement as cheap as possible. Man shedders. Okay, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with that. I do run another Christian channel and um, with moving from one house to another, I've not been able to do the study to work on that one. So the Disciple channel is there for those who are Christian, just type in the Disciple. But I think doing this video helps me to relax, get away, watch the things around me. And I think men and women need to be creative. God is creative. We also should be creative. Hope you've enjoyed this. I'll give you all I know through my lifetime of construction and mechanics and share you with you the tips I can and I learn as I go. I'll leave you and say God bless you.